Hello again. As described in the next previous videos, I we made the holes and marked all the outlines and prepared our wooden car, vintage one, to be a, to cut. We prepared it for the cuttings. Now we will can start to cut it by hand. If you have a band saw, it will be easier. But if you haven't, it isn't that big problem. So we use fine tooth blade, little saw. And then we just start sawing a, a, at the outside of the lines. Then I don't continue, I go to the other side just to be able to follow the line carefully. And it also avoids that it will splinter here on the back, on the back of the wood, otherwise it would splinter. <laughs> Now we have to start be, to be very careful as we are approaching the the end. What I might do is to just turn around the object. It will make it easier to to saw. I don't have a lot of room here. So that's waste material that was the front and it's sawn very flat which is convenient because we will put some tropical wood on the back on the front of the, the car. Now we still have to sew away this here and this here. And here to place the cockpit for the driver. Should be draw uh, should also be done and then we have to do the back still. I might leave this till the very end and then cut off because then we have some more 
uh, wood to clamp. Now we will do the cockpit. The seats for the driver and, and his companion. Or his wife. So we did our sewing cuts and we will make some more here and then they are short grain and we can break them with a chisel, chisel, chisel. And maybe we should do already an inclination. We we saw away the back now.
That's the back with the inclination. And as you can see, this is already getting, getting the shape we want. It starts to get the shape. As you can see, the tire will be mounted after. So now we need to make more cross cuts here in order to make it short grain and then we break away the excess with a chisel and shape the this with a round rasp. These things we could try to saw in the length away. So let's start to do that those long long pieces first. Because we are going to do that we would need to mark We mark those lines when we saw alongside those lines, and we have to transfer them to the front of the car. Now we saw away the axis here. This we can do with a longer saw because we still will need the we need to, to rasp that and chisel away wood so it wouldn't it doesn't really matter if it's a bit rough. secret to, to saw in the length like this the secret is that we do it from both sides all the time we don't continue from one side Turn it around again and do it now again from the side where we started.
and we turn it around again until we reach until we reach this cut which we already did we we cut here and we will we'll reach this cut Once again, we turn around our car. As we reach now the cross cut, we have to start to be very, very careful. We start to saw slow and have and observe what what is happening. Let's lose. As you can see, this is for the wood stove, and we saw away the front now. As you can see, now we can do the back. And then at the very end we'll do the middle. The back is done the same way. We'll mark it first and have a one look at the cardboard pattern. And it says it's possible, yes. Okay, we'll do it. And then we transfer, we, co we connect those two lines which we just marked on the end grain back of the car. And now can do that with the hand saw too. Once again, for accuracy, we do it from both sides, so that we can respect the line in the back, otherwise we'll, we'll end up sawing bad. <laughs>
once again we start where we started Again, another piece for the wood stove, and we did it roughly. So we saw away the back. We didn't do the rounding yet. Here, there's a rounding, and here there's still some missing, which has to be removed. I hope you can see it. So we can do that later. But the rounding here, I will already give a start. And then the, there's a there's a at the back. This is a flat side for the for the uh, spare tire to be taken with, so that we'll we'll leave enough space here for for a, a spare tire to to put on here. So we'll we'll have to cut now from two sides in order to get to get a nice corner. This corner has to be nice. This one, this corner. Because later, well, later you could do it with a ch chisel, but I think. We will do it already a little bit with a handsaw. And I use the little saw for this work. Again, we do it from both sides so that we get an accurate cut which follows the outlines of our pattern. We do it from both sides. Like that, we have more control when sawing. Now we have to respect the line, the bottom line. Okay, that's done. Now the length one.
if you have enough courage you could do this with a chisel but I do it prefer to do it with a handsaw <laughs> Again for the wood stove. So we got now this result and now we need to round here. We do this with a rasp. You could do it with a chisel. But I I'll give it a try with a with a rasp. Maybe we try both. Now you should use a chisel which is very very wide. I'll have a look if I have one. It should be wide like this one. And then we you can do it with a chisel and end up with a file. With a rasp, if you are not good to work with these tools, use better uh, use a, a rasp and a file carefully. Work from both sides from the edges. Never go with the chisel that way because then it will splinter here. You always work work from both sides. Maybe you can can see it what is happening. I'll show you that you can see it better. You'll do it like this. And this ant one you'll have to do it from this way, otherwise it will not go well. Of course, this won't won't be flat like this. We will round all corners. It will be much nicer at the end.
then the next step would be that we take a file first we take one that is quite a bit rough and then later you can use a, a file which is fine one or sandpaper this is not an exact science so it's not that important you should more or less roughly reach the lines till you, your eye decides that it's nice of course the the lines, the pattern is a reference. Now the next step, after we rounded the corner here at the back, we rounded the corner, as you can see. The next step is that we can start to cut out the cockpit, and we do this with cross cuts. In order for you to see how it will happen, I'll show it you to you from a different angle. Otherwise, it won't be visible. This one you can do from, from one side, you don't have to turn it over all the time. Just in case, we'll clamp it a little bit outside of this vise, because this is a metal vise, and I don't want to risk damaging my good saw. <laughs> I should know that the cross cuts are apart from each other, each one four millimeters more roughly, approximately. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that's this. Now that we now that we um, did the cross cuts, we can break it away with a chisel. We just place the chisel in between, and we move it to all directions. And it will break easily. It should it should break easily. And the there's a part where we have to be very careful, which is here. The next step in the process of making the car is now to use a round rasp, one with a round, a round um, side, because we want to smooth it, make it like um, like it is here. So we take the round rasp, hold it in like this, and we can start smoothing carefully. So we reach the lines, the mark lines. Or you can pass a drum sander if you have a spindle machine or a drum sander. A drum sander is you can make even yourself. You turn something on a wood lathe and you bolt through a bolt and a nut and you put it in your drill press and you can do it like that as well. You put some sandpaper on it with a wedge. 
ear as you can see the wedge is there Okay, I will do that more later. I won't bother you by with, with showing you how to follow it completely round. But as you can see, the car starts to get its shape. I'll pass the drum sander there now, after. That you can do that on the drill press, or you can file it till you reach the lines. As you can see, the, the lines, there's, we're still far away from the lines. And last but not least, we'll have to remove here still a little bit, which I can show you now. I have to make some room. So, in order to, there's a little, there's a little indication there, we transfer that line to the top. we saw a little bit Then we chisel away all the excess. Or you can do it with a wood rasp. Now we can use the root rasp. We also can, you can do it like you want to. 
you can just continue with the chisel if you're handy. Now, if it was up to me, this design should be rounded here a little bit to make it nicer looking. So we'll We'll have to make a sewing cut, but I I will show you that in the next video. We'll make it round here and at the back a little bit too, but that will be shown in the next video. Thanks for watching.